Hi, I'm Stacey Levine, Senior Director of Youth Education Services at Common Point, Queens. I'm Brandon Patteron, I'm Senior Director for Youth Education Services. Hi, I'm Diana Vigo, Senior Director of Youth Education Services. I'm Hannah Sarinsky, Senior Director of Youth Education Services. And I'm Mitch Karp, Associate Vice President of Youth Education Services. Thank you for spending part of your weekend with us. Although the last couple of years have thrown quite a number of unique challenges in our direction, we are so proud to be back together for one of our favorite annual traditions, the Youth Showcase. It has always been one of my favorite days of the year to have families from close to 30 different schools share an auditorium, as well as the experience of getting to see how amazing our students and staff are. And even though we can't all be together in person, we still have so much to celebrate this year. We're so grateful to the thousands of families that have helped us not just support school communities, but the greater wonderful youth community in Queens. And we're beyond proud of the talented students who've grown up so much in front of our eyes over the last 10 months. Fittingly, this year's theme is resilience, which our children and families have exemplified day in and day out as they return to school, learning and socializing, and coming together for special occasions like this. We are so excited to share these wonderful performances with you today. Thank you to everyone who made this possible. Thank you, Cirilla. Thank you for making this a wonderful year. Enjoy the show. All right, Diana, what does resilience mean to you and why? Um, resilience means like really being like strong about stuff and tough and just kind of being able to work through stuff without getting knocked down. Hi, my name is Evelyn. It is important that we are united together after the pandemic because if you are alone, you cannot build up your relationship with others and it will and education will be harder for you. Why after school was so important to me was because when I went there, I can socialize with my friends. After school programs are important after the pandemic so kids can talk to each other after being away for so long. The importance of unity and having a good community so that people don't feel sad and alone like they did during the pandemic. Hi, my name is Brian and after school is important after the pandemic because we can sit together, we can meet new people and we can do new, new activities. Days like 
important during the pandemic because if we're not all together, it's going to be really hard for each other to get through our struggles and it also gives people a chance to not feel so lonely. It is important for unity and resilience after the pandemic so that we can fight through it and get past the hard times. Going back to school because I went from elementary school straight to middle school, so it was, I didn't get a transition. So during the pandemic, I was on in school but online, so, and then I like had to stay on the computer for super duper long, and I really didn't like that. So, so after the pandemic, now we're like in school, so I don't have to like look at the screen for really long. Um, during the pandemic, I 
I struggled a lot and I didn't really know the answer to everything. So when I was in school after that, I couldn't keep up with what, with what the teacher was saying. The important thing about unity is our whole class working together instead of us working alone. Resilience is important because it helps us get through hard times in school like tests, exams. In this project, the flowers we made represent our, how our community is united no matter what we're feeling and how we're going to support one another through kindness so we can be resilient together.
videos. We get to cook, we get to make new friends, and like we get to like we get to learn stuff from our counselors, and when we be like do more stuff than before when COVID was happening. But now since like COVID is not such a big thing anymore, we get to do more fun stuff, and we get to. Um, we get to talk, we get to make new friends, and we get just we get to have a lot of fun. That's good. I'm getting the next refill. Michael Jordan inspires me by being the great basketball player that he is. He also inspires me by working harder and trying harder so you can do good in life and never give up. The way Michael Jordan helps the black community is by committing $100 million over the next 10 years to organizations assisting black people with social justice and greater access to education. Odell Beckham inspires a lot of people to play football. Odell Beckham is a football player in the NFL. Odell is one of the most famous NFL players ever because he has some of the best catches ever. He's one of the best wide receivers ever. He plays a big role in the black community because he raised funds for the BLM movement by selling I Can Blue shirts. Stephen Curry, the best shooter of all time and my favorite basketball player, inspires me to be great. Stephen Curry uses his platform to create social change, raise awareness for various issues during the pandemic, and help them raise uh, money for food insecurities in Oakland. Through their Eat, Learn, Play Foundation, Stephen and Aisha Curry helped donate 16 million meals to families affected by food insecurity in Oakland. This is why Stephen Curry inspires me. Pella is a professional soccer player from Brazil. I respect Pele because he would fight for Brazil, known as a poor place. Pele and many more people are a big part of Black History Month because they don't give things as easily like other people. Every Black man or woman had to fight to get their start in whatever they do. This is why Pele is a big part of Black History Month. LeBron James is probably a lot of people to play basketball. LeBron James is a basketball player in the NBA. LeBron James is one of the most famous NBA players ever because he has some of the best dunks and he plays. He is one of the best small forwards. He plays a big role in the black community because he has inspired many people to do basketball and chase their dreams. He made a school in Ohio for underprivileged kids. Samuel L. Jackson is an actor in two of my favorite franchises, Marvel and Star Wars. He is an alumni of HBCU and has donated millions of dollars to Spelman College. He continues to act and inspire in people of color in Hollywood. Kevin Hart is a stand-up comedian and actor that has written the day of others and gotten many laughing people all over the world. The way Kevin Hart helps the black community by his charity by partnering with the UNFC or the UNCF to give $600,000 in scholarships to HBCUs. Kevin Hart inspires me by being black and being a funny comedian slash actor and he inspires to do good things in life and help others and work harder to try hard. A bird doesn't sing because it has an answer. It sings because it has a song. Maya Angelou wrote this in her book, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Angelou was the recipient of many awards, such as the Grammy Award for Best Spoken Word Album three times, the Vet Award, 
the Bet Honors Award for Literary Arts, and the Glamour Award for the Poet. She was an eminent author, as well as a civil rights activist, heavily involved in the movement. She created the Revue Cabaret for Freedom in the 1960s to raise funds for Martin Luther King Jr. Jr.'s civil rights organization, SCLC. It makes me want to move. It makes me want to have fun. But it's something about this joint right here. This joint right here. It makes me want to.
Why is after school so important after the pandemic? Because in the pandemic, we had to, we had to socialize through social media, and now since in after school, we get to talk with our friends, and like we can still stay six feet apart, but now we can socialize like like not through the social media, not through media, but like like in person. Awesome. So, what's your favorite part of after school? Probably getting to talk with my friends and make sick. Like probably getting to talk with my friends longer because in the like uh, doing, getting to be able to do fun activities. So which one is the most fun to you? Probably gym and then uh, computers. Well, during the pandemic, you, you, um, depending if you did remotely, I did two hours of class a day, barely socializing. You don't get to see your friends late in person. You just get to see them through a screen. And during after school, it's like school is more free. You can talk while you're doing homework, talk to the gym. You can talk, you can talk like basically whatever, as long as you're good. And it just helps kids more get better at socializing after losing it during the pandemic. Okay, that's what you drew? Yeah, my back. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Parker, what about you? So, my it's a rainy day, and then the heart, and the heart, uh, uh, it's wet, and then the water's tripping off. Okay, nice boys, good job. What's something that helped you guys feel strong? Candy. So that's what you drew? Yeah. Do you want to explain it? The back hand is Okay, nice, what about you? Outside helps make you feel strong. And this is the color of a rainbow here. And then this is the outside. Nice. Okay, what about you? Uh, uh, a rainbow. A blue and a brown next to my car. Beautiful. Hi, I'm Kim. And once I move to Bayside, I, I found a bunch of rainbows. And puddles, even on the field that was on the floor. But anyways, what inspired me to do this is every time I looked at a rainbow, it it helped me with hope. It did. Mhm. Mm Great. Anything else, Karina? Well, over here are neon colors. Beautiful. Got the bright things. And over here are dark. Nice. Do you want me to end it? Yep, and yeah. that's it. <laughs> Great. Hi, my name is Sienna. I'm in third grade, and I made this art to represent something. So this one, um, if you 
guys know of Sesame, Sesame Street, I made the character Elmo because I like Elmo. And this one is and this one is Midnight Air because Midnight Air is very pretty. And this one is Cotton Candy because I love Cotton Candy. And this one's just a rainbow. And I put the rainbow in here to like for like if we've been able to see it like in, in um, COVID, if we can be able to see a rainbow again. And this is where I made this art. And I hope you like it. And Jaren, what did we make? We made an ancient Chinese temple town. Very nice. And what did we learn during this project? We learned about Chinese culture and temples and Chinese. What what holiday did we talk about? Chinese New Year. Very good. And why is it important? Why is it important to learn about different architecture of different cultures? Because we should know all about the people that we're surrounded with and people who we might see. Yeah, very good. That's awesome. Thank you so much for sharing your art with us. After the pandemic because I get to socialize with my friends and improve my socializing skills. And guess what? My parents don't have to worry about me because they will know I'm in a safe environment. Unity is important because we need each other to survive, both mentally and physically. Thank you to all of the counselors at PS115 after school for looking out for me and my family. Yes! The importance of unity in our life is important because we all have to get together and protect each other to overcome the virus. A struggle I overcame after the pandemic was um, not being able to communicate with my friends, but I overcame that by talking to them from Zoom, FaceTime, Google Meets, and all that other stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
got a good and good will come to you. Never wrap up. Do you yourself. Hello everyone! Be grateful for yourself.